Story 11, Veterans Day Slideshow, 11 Images of Korea in 1967. Slide 2, We All Arrived on Christmas Eve in 1966. Shown from left to right, starting on the top row standing. On the left, Corporal Song, he was a Katusa, a Korean augmentation to the United States Army. His job was to do his job as an infantryman, as well as uh, get us acclimated to Korea. Next to him, Private Pagliano from New Jersey. He was with me at uh, Fort Dix, New Jersey, and he was from that area in the New York City Metroplex. Next to him, Private Mel Law. Later, he was my DMZ buddy after we all got promoted uh, two ranks and about eight months later. Next to him, Corporal Chung Mo Young. He was one of my favorite Katusas, and uh, he was just a great guy. In the second row from left to right, Anthony Tony Wrangle. We were in basic training together at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, truck driving school at Fort Dix, New Jersey, and now Korea in the same platoon. On Veterans Day in 1966, Tony and I had a pass and stayed at the YMCA in New York City. He and I climbed to the top of the Statue of Liberty. The next day, we took a steel ladder up to the crown. A guy next to Tony was Wilson, who was in Mel's platoon. And then you see me uh, kneeling at the end with Chung Ma Young's hand resting on my shoulder. Slide 3. This is a view of the North Korean propaganda speakers about one mile from us, shown in the center circle of the artillery scope. Slide 4. Two boys who lived north of the 38th parallel, but still in South Korea. Slide 5. A Korean woman selling us some kind of food in August of 1967 near Camp Kaiser, north of the 38th parallel. Slide 6. Camp Kaiser Mortar Range, where we trained in July and August of 1967. At that time, I was a Ford observer with uh, Jim Todd and John Rape and myself, and we would uh, call in fire missions to the 81 millimeter mortar guys below us. Slide 7. Our weapons platoon barracks at Camp Hovi, Korea, where I lived the first eight months of my stay in South Korea. Slide 8. A boy who lived just a few feet from the border between North and South Korea 50 years ago. I wonder how his life went over the past 50 years. Slide 9. My vantage point on top of the CO's bunker on my pirate ship taking a picture of the South Korean soldiers going out to their assigned positions along the barrier fence between North and South Korea. I was thinking, my loved ones are 9,000 miles away. Their loved ones are 30 miles away. Suddenly, I feel safe. Slide 10. This is how we dressed to fight the severe cold 50 years ago. Missing is my flak jacket, which rode on the top of the coat. Slide 11. I am taking this picture on a late afternoon in November of 1967. This is where my buddy Mel Law and I stood to defend the Republic of Korea. My shadow can be seen below the sandbags, going from left to right with my feet on the left and my head on the right. In my mind, Mel Law and I are still standing for freedom on our hill. Thank you very much for listening. See the link below the video to purchase Bob Kern's new book, We Were Soldiers Too, The Second Korean War, The DMZ Conflict. It's available as a print book, a Kindle book, and available as an audio book from Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. I am the narrator of the audio book. I am Wayne Perkins, Company B, 3rd Battalion, 
32nd Infantry, 7th Infantry Division. Thank you very much for listening. I look forward to talking to you again with some more stories of the DMZ in 1967.